Basically, it's uh, for the Day of the Dead celebration. So it's a uh, very traditional Mexican uh, uh, party that uh, goes on every November 2nd. And uh, you dress up like this in honor of uh, the dead and your ancestors that have passed before you. So the whole idea is that um, with Ocho Tequila, tonight we're, uh, we're honoring Day of the Dead. We have a special edition Ocho Tequila bottle that's out. And uh, yeah, we're all, we're all dressing up like skeletons and uh, we'll uh, get party right away. I got into the tequila business by an uncontrollable passion for tequila and I developed my passion for tequila here at Cafe Pacifico. Um, I was brought here originally by Kenny Everett uh, for my first ever margarita and uh, then as my passion grew. I, I had the same experience as most other people, uh, not here I have to say, in, in Los Angeles and I didn't touch tequila for a while and then I came back and came back to Cafe Pacifico and uh, my uh, passion grew and uh, the wonderful Carlos and Thomas Estes took me under their wings and um, have mentored my uh, passion. So I'm here in the kitchen of uh, Cafe Pacifico and I've managed to uh, track Jesse Estes down at the uh, party that's going on inside um, and I'm just going to have a quick chat with him about uh, what makes Ocho Limited Edition uh, Ocho Limited Edition. What uh, we're doing with Ocho is doing a um, single field vintage tequila. It's the first ever tequila that's done that. So what it's doing basically is exploring the idea of terroir, like with wine, yes. uh, in agave, which is, you know, instead of grapes, agave for tequila. And what we're finding is that every field, while similar, it's all produced the same, while similar, they're also distinctly different. I love everything about Ocho Tequila. Ocho Tequila, it, it's got, uh, uh, you know you're drinking tequila. It's a, a beautiful, fabulous flavor, and you can taste the sunshine, you can taste the earth, you can taste the minerals, but it's all wrapped in the most fabulous abundance of exquisite flavor. And once you have an Ocho, it's very, very difficult to want to drink much else. Now, with this, I know this one is 2010, and it says Los Mangos. Uh, I'm just wondering if you can kind of uh, tell us a little bit about what that means. Well, Los Mangos is um, named so because uh, it used to be a mango orchard um, before agaves were planted there. So, and ironically enough, the tequila itself is incredibly fruity. Uh, tropical fruits, caramelized pineapple, uh, banana, mango even, a uh, touch of spearmint, a nice light herbaceousness to it. Um, and this, where this is grown is very characteristic of the highlands, the kind of uh, deep, iron, uh, rich, red soil. I also went to uh, Mexico and I went to see the Camarena brothers who make a uh, ocho to see how it was all made. And when you see the love and passion that goes into this tequila, uh, you drink it and you become it. I, I love the new, I've never seen such happier looking little dead guys. <laughs> This is Ocho, dead or alive, it's happy. And I, I love the fact that these little dead guys look so happy. And, um, and they're still partying, which I think we all will be if we keep drinking Ocho. <laughs> With regards of Day of the Dead, uh, it's a celebration that has always been um, done in, within the Catholic calendar, if you like. Um, been a more than 500 years since uh, the Spanish conquer uh, or discover the Latin America. Um, it has always been uh, a religion that has grown and grown and grown in Latin America. Day of the Dead is a way of looking at uh, a celebration of uh, the people that uh, were with us at some point and are no longer with us anymore. And we feel that uh, with music, food and good tequila is a brilliant way of celebrating uh, those that are no longer with us. Ocho!
One of the reasons why Ocho wanted to get involved within the uh, Day of the Celebrations in Mexico is because we believe that uh, time changes. Uh, as a result of that, we feel that um, the vintages that we produce in Ocho change all the time. And one of the important things in the celebration of um, the Mexican Dia de los Muertos is the fact that times change all the time, but we tend to remember what was in the past. By law, there's uh, five different states in which it is legal to produce tequila. Uh, the major producer of tequila is Jalisco, and uh, tequila can be produced anywhere in Jalisco. But like you said, there are two major areas of production within that state. Uh, what, we, what, what people call the lowlands, which are actually not that low, so I prefer to call it the Tequila Valley, and the highlands. So, the lo I mean, there's big differences between the lowland tequilas and the highland tequilas. Mm -hmm. And that, again, it's the same plant. It's the same variety. Mm -hmm. the, the blue tequila, excuse me, the agave tequilana Weber Azul. Right. And it's the same plant, but under different growing conditions, different soil, different temperatures. It produces different, different flavors. Microclimates, absolutely. It is kind of hard to look at each of us with our faces painted like this and have a serious conversation. <laughs> yes, yes, Thank yes. you very much for, uh, for answering those questions on Ocho. Thank you, James. And uh, enjoy the party, man. Thank you much. All right. Four, three, four, three, four, four.